What's up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Please follow my Instagram at Russo Lifts just in case something happens to this YouTube channel. You can follow, message, and you can watch my daily story content on Instagram. I'll see you there. What is up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's ASMR sip is some Starbucks cold brew because my blood pressure has been decent and everyone's mad that I have a monotone. So we're gonna hype myself up just a tad here. Today I'm gonna be reacting to my original LGD 4033 before and after transformation. This was in the SARMs only days of this channel, AK before any roids enter my body at all, FYI. And yeah, this was my most popular video on my original channel. You know, I think the Austrian video did pass it up with half a million views, but yeah, I wanted to react to the four week transformation you know this video is kind of just a reaction to this video like only so much is accomplishable in four weeks this just shows the look you can achieve with lgd obviously if i pushed to over eight weeks probably make a lot more results but this was back in the day when i knew that lgd was super suppressive i did not use a testosterone base and i was more focused on not flatlining my hpta and just dipping my feet in the water and experimenting around so yeah let's get into it i want to get right into reacting to this one i already explained in the other video on like you know i'm gonna redo the playlist on this channel and make it a lot more easy for you guys to browse this content so moving forward just drop a thumbs up on this video and if you're new here subscribe and hit all notifications if you want to you know support my shit and actually see my shit so we'll go through the disclaimer of all the vlogs of lgd <laughs> take who think who, the voice change is always hilarious. I think I should do like reacting to my voice change over the years, but take into consideration this transformation was only four weeks long and only so much. So I'm already like caveating this video because I remember like the original video on my original channel. Everyone's like, oh, not much happened. It's like four weeks. I literally, like this before I had any sponsorships, this is before, like when I could barely afford to be enhanced, you know, I could afford one bottle of LGD. So it was bonkers that people reacted the way they did, but that's how YouTube goes. There's only four week transformation. I think this was a reversal, if I remember correctly, after my Austrian cut, I reversed into a caloric surplus with LGD after I did my PCT. Which can be done in four weeks. If you notice the posing footage in the beginning, you will notice a sucked in lack of nitrogen retention and at the end. So this is a natural look on me. I remember, you know, I was a long distance runner. I was a wrestler. I was a three sport athlete, had a sane cardiovascular system. And I had a lot of tissue on my body for being, you know, a long distance athlete. And during this time I was transitioning into bodybuilding. So yeah, here's a natural look before. This gives you a good idea of the muscle nitrogen retention that will occur later in the cycle. So you notice I have the more sucked in natural look as to be expected. And yeah, this gives you a good baseline on how the LGD instantly reacted with my physique. It's so surreal, also a big Lana Del Rey fan. I would fuck the shit out of her. Survive. I think I'll mute this music because it's copyrighted. So as you can see, I was building central nervous system strength. I was doing strength based work back then. That's what I was highly focused on was strength volume. I was pulling four plates pretty consistently. Bench has always been my weak point. You know, the bird chest 
here with Russo. So yeah, that's what I was focused on back then. I was sticking to more of the basics and building my foundation during these days. So right off the bat, you see the nitrogen retention has been added to the physique. You can see that my delts are popping compared to the beginning of this video. And you can see the layer of water that has been added from the 4033 and you can see the layer of water on my face. There's been no way for me to ever to mitigate that water retention. That is why I prefer LGD 3303 over 4033 if you're on testosterone, because in my opinion, 4033 is a more stable androgen and a medical efficacious use. But for bodybuilding, 3303 is definitely superior because you don't get this watery look. But you can see the extreme fullness difference in my delta. So you can see that the androgen level is high because my traps are popping and everything is visually much different than the start of the video as far as muscle fullness goes. I remember this was back when I was using my little Canon T5i shooting these videos. So that's why all these shots are janky kind of out of focus it's not like YouTube these days. It was back when you like really had to commit to be a YouTuber. So here's a good visual of the fullness I was able to achieve on only four weeks. Obviously this would have continued, but extreme difference in muscle fullness. You can see the side chest looks completely different from the beginning side chest. I look sucked in natty. Obviously I'm gonna look visually bigger, but with the weight gain and everything, this was definitely yielding the LGD being in the system. Overall, I remember I was eating like a horse and not gaining that much fat. I also never got haircuts back then, as you can see. <laughs> I would save money on haircuts. <laughs> Just do the mop head look. So this is the results around 190 pounds. So remember I reversed down and came back up and you can see a pretty tremendous difference in fullness and nitrogen retention at only four weeks. LGD 4033 is a very powerful androgen. This was a low dosage experiment of 10 milligrams a day. If you guys follow the injectable LGD 4033 experiment on this channel, that was 50 milligrams a day. So you can see I was super cautious back in the day, and especially since I was using no testosterone base under, I wanted to make, you know, the PCT as easy as possible, but still get some results. But yeah, you can see everything is popping more. I had better vascularity, better fullness, and then the final after of only four weeks this is the famous posing footage in my parents basement that popped off on youtube because this was sarms only this side chest is night and day different in only four weeks compared to this side chest so after four weeks Yes, I look sucked in flat, natty, my face is lean. And then when you see this, I have the LGD face, the D-ball face going on, and the side chest is insanely different after only four weeks. So you can only imagine if I upped the dosage and continued on after four weeks, but this was an experiment. So overall, LGD 4033, that androgen is extremely suppressive, extremely strong. I remember I did have to use clomiphene after this cycle to recover my natural testosterone, and my natural testosterone was definitely more heavily suppressed than, you know, I just did a reaction video on the Austrian as well. Austrian was an easy PCT. LGD was not an easy PCT. It required a full intervention with clomiphene, which came with its own cascading side effects of higher estrogen, more emotional, and overall the yo-yo effect of, you know, coming off the LGD 40, 30, 33, feeling like shit, adding in the clomid, dealing with the emotional side effects of the clomid, then pyramiding down the clomid. But I did make a full HPTA rebound. But if I would have blasted at higher dosages for eight weeks, could have fucked up my HBTA much worse. Remember, this was a four week experiment. This is before I had any sponsorships and could barely afford that cycle, right? I had the AI on hand. I could afford the AI on hand. I had the LGD and then I had the PCT I could afford, right? That was what I could afford. And I would pull my blood work. Blood work is extremely expensive when you're not going through a doctor in the United States. It's not super cheap like the Asian 
or European countries. So I had all the financial means to do it correctly and the food to do it correctly, but that was a bare bones example of, you know, realistically LGD 4033 at that age of 18, being able to afford to do it right in quotation marks. So my overall thoughts are once again that this was back in the days where everyone was utilizing SARMs behind the curtain. Everyone came after me for being honest about it, being transparent and blunt about it. And yeah, you know, it was very tough to deal with that amount of hate at that young of an age when I knew in the back of my mind that this was what everyone was doing who was scaling on YouTube in the fitness industry. At the time, they were either using steroids, which were much harder to be half natty with them, or they are using SARMs. Most of them were using SARMs because like you can see in this video, that you look like something's going on but you can make the example oh like he's natty he just has good genetics you know that's why he's progressing so fast if i said i was completely natural i know a lot of you people would believe it but at the pace i was progressing it's kind of doing a disservice to a full natural bodybuilder you know they're not going to progress at that fast they're not going to be able to diet that fast and the before and after you can see a tremendous difference in the side chest alone yeah that's my thoughts you know it's a much different era these days in 2022 back when i did this this was like what over five years ago so you know much different era i was one of the only ones that was blatantly honest but it is what it is right you got to trailblaze and pave the way and that's what i did i knew eventually biohacking would get to the stage where everyone is biohacking to a certain degree whether that be you know utilizing natural anabolics or natural ways to trick the HPTA to produce more testosterone or using synthetic androgens like I was playing around. I knew everyone eventually would go down the biohacking route as biohacking became more popular. It's just back then I was had fucking shit thrown at me for being transparent and honest about it when back in the day, you know, these videos were for me to document my progress and to know that I was progressing right? I just threw them up because I thought it would be useful information for anyone else who was experimenting back then. But boy, have times changed. Everyone on Instagram who's scaling up or TikTok is using some form of synthetic androgen, which probably is SARMs or low dosage testosterone at the start. And you can see that everyone does it nowadays. It's not just this taboo thing. But back then when this video first launched on my original channel and popped off, this was extremely taboo type content. So it's awesome to see that this video still holds its weight all these years later. And this transformation is bonkers when I'm looking at the side chest compared to the start of this video, considering it's only four weeks, meaning that the LGD probably started really feeling the LGD around week one. Obviously, it's going to start working right off the bat but that gave me three weeks to rapidly morph and get the extra muscle fullness and nitrogen retention. And you can see that it was legit LGD because my face puffed out. So hopefully you learned something from my reaction. You know, these these videos are what really got me going and incited you know, when it comes to this type of stuff, because I was one of the first to do these types of videos and these videos still hold their weight years later. And I hope to see you guys in my next video.